All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go and we'll do the rock and roll tonight. <laughs> I just chocolated myself right now and off we go. Let me demonstrate you this baby here. I think this is going to be an important package for me. It concerns this package. I just picked it up tonight. And uh, I'm here to seal the deal. I am for it. There you go. The two babies are working. I just came back from the city. See that? And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to close them down. You can see the date and time. You can see it. As a matter of fact, don't take me for it. The proper, the exact date and time, which I regularly also compare to the one online, is the one you see it right here. And this is the date and everything is here. All right, um, there you go. January 25th, 2024, it's right now 11 minutes after 2100 hours, 2111, January 25th, 2024. Let's save these recordings. Postal office, postal office. I'm going to do it fresh for you. So fresh that there won't be any doubt about it. I want to do it like, you know, really, 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 really fresh for you. Hey, there you go. That's the baby right there. You see it. 2750. 2750 it is. This is the last one that it saved the recording. Let's go. Twenty-seven fifty. It is, and I am gonna go ahead and use this baby here to get this stuff done here. So that you're gonna see that this is a really, 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 really fresh, fresh as fresh can possibly be. What exactly is this here? This is an audio recording from the local postal office. What exactly am I talking about? Well, I was at the postal office yesterday.
because I got this message here. I got this message yesterday at 13.48 hours. We receive the packaging CF31, etc., etc., 820SE. This is, would be the packaging that you see right there. That's exactly what the packaging should be. And according to MK Ultra, when I went over this stuff, this whole thing, uh, it did came out as the packaging that, uh, in fact, the sender, I don't know how that would be because this is consolidated. This is not from only one seller but some people from aliexpress possibly from aliexpress suggested me that they do stuff like this opposed to other packages i received do require people to sign for it and when yesterday i was at the postal office i have met the leader of the postal office uh, uh, chief of the postal office of the Novo Mesto the one I was telling you about that would open the postal office about 2-3 hours earlier before the postal office would start to operate just for the purposes of torture I would be with the police inside 3 hours earlier before the postal office would even open and tortured inside of the postal office before the postal office would open this was like a regular procedure done by the police beginning like maybe 19 even maybe 1993 if not even earlier than that the police slovenian police would deliver me to the postal office and start to torture inside of the inside of the uh, postal office about two three hours earlier this was the lady who did it one of the ladies who did it this one definitely was the one i met yesterday so what I'm going to do at this point in time, I'll go ahead and I will do something else here. Because I do need this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if this at AliExpress, even if they require a signature for what I'm about to demonstrate to you. It's like a, in total, we are talking about like uh, this package here, most likely. I have not opened one yet. I'm about to open one, but most likely this is a package that costs in total for the three items, five euros. That's strange that you would have to sign for the package like this. I'm just saying it's strange because it was just maybe two times, maybe three times, two times, two times it was probably that I had to sign for the packages, for all the packages that I received. Maybe three times, I don't know. That's like fucking weird. Actually, I have every visit to the postal office audio recorded. So that won't be a trouble to prove. But that's kind of strange that you would have for the belt, for another belt, uh, both in really in a value, a super economic value, 170, 170, that you would have to, with the balaclava also 170, that you would have actually to sign this for. I find this bizarre. That you would have to sign this item for. I find it bizarre because there is another item I am awaiting. And that's this watch here for which I already have talked about on the internet. I have to really connect myself to it. But before it's going to connect, I am going to use the time to get something else also done here. Which, what I'm doing right now, it's actually... It's 25th, 1.30, 9.30. It's going to be also this item here I am going to use. 
I named one nonsense package I had to sign for and I will just go into the nonsense package folder sign for and have this file transferred to it's a file 2743 why I have opened this one here because I started to get sensitive about this bullshit um, I got the message the SMS as I demonstrated you it was at 1345 afternoon that you know, they received the package. And I really want to know what's going on here with this stuff. What's happening actually with this stuff here. So the same day that was yesterday, I go to the postal office. Oh, we got to do some of that. So it's going to be louder, clearer. I continue. And this is the postal office. I uh, I didn't do this well. That I have not done well. I did transfer the wrong file in here. That's not good. I was quite eager to save that file because it's strange to me that you would come at 7 o'clock at 1900 hours just when they are closing the office and still you will not get the package for which you got the SMS for. Uh, the leader of the postal office stated me, well, this is not us, this is a postal company that received your package and this package is located in a Maribor. For this package, it was a novel Mesto police who insisted would, if necessary, if it would be for the watch, would even travel to Maribor. Eventually, they said to Tselje. That means like they would drop off to Tselje or something like this and get the package over there. 
uh, through the cell. Uh, that's quite far. Uh, they traveled in that region quite often, whenever they had me. Of course, they redistributed me through Slovenia. But it's interesting the way they wanted me hastily, basically, to state that the package I have received, that's the number one thing. That the package that I have just received right now is definitely the package for the watch and not for the package that you see right there. Right here, we are about to see, and I can tell you this is belt. There's a belt inside, and there is most likely balaclava here. Five euros in value. Uh, rather than to sign for a very low low cost items. If that is the case, <laughs> then I'm going to only say to AliExpress that I have received several packages of which none I had to sign for in exactly same nature for from AliExpress consolidated packaging, AliExpress saver shipping, express shipping, whatever it is. I never had to sign for it. So this is strange that this is like the lowest cost item that I ordered. Uh, it, it is strange to me. I find it bizarre that the items, these items for five euros, uh, when I look at the history of how this stuff traveled, it's bizarre to note that they have been cleared in Slovenia from the customs already one month and a half ago. That's fucking weird. Look at that. They were ordered on December the 9th. I paid them December 9, 2023. It's when I shipment information received by warehouse electronically. If I go originally to the shipping order, awaiting delivery order date, you can see right here, December 9, 2023. My goodness, that's like, what is it, like 46 days ago. Today, it, it appears to me that it finally arrived, right? I mean, isn't it? I mean, this is it. Either way, this does not look for Slovenian postal office is very promising. And I just, in case, all right, listen to me. In case they did not switch the package from the watch, that also, I think, should already arrive, even that is listed for the February the 2nd to arrive. But I think it should be here already. If they didn't switch that package with this one, in other words, I would have to, it's what the Slovenian police promised me what the case would be, that I would have to sign for packages and would receive like a regular nonsense package and when something valuable, expensive would come, it would be given to me without my having to have to sign absolutely anything. You understand that? That was the brainwash. When you say this to somebody, it's a very, very powerful brainwash. And I said, I told you that I only had to sign so far for about maybe altogether, I don't know, maybe three packages altogether. So I have a bad taste in my mouth out of so many packages that I only had to sign for like maybe three packages, four packages maximum. It leaves me out of I don't know how many packages with a bad taste in my mouth. And also this is like, as I stated, the lowest cost order from AliExpress I have made for the new year. Strange that I would have to sign for this one. Why haven't I signed for several other deliveries that were more expensive than this one, but this one that I have to sign for. It's like fucking nonsense, really. Okay, so... So if they want to go this extra mile, and then I'm going to go also extra mile. If you match these numbers here, the numbers I can already tell you correctly match one another. All I know is that Slovenian Postal Service is light. They lie. At, at, at this time, they lie. Because if... I had to sign for this one, they have done something that I didn't have to sign for other packages that I should have. Because I find this fucking weird that I would have to sign for this package. I just really find it weird. 
something here is not okay. Especially because it was a really heavy brainwash in hype in respect to the watch that I demonstrated you. Okay, so they say this here, they, they stated here at, at 1348, as you see yesterday, that the package is waiting. What, what did they say? No, they, they didn't say that, but they stated here. Okay. We received the shipment from the sender Express One Slovenia. Uh, I don't understand what the fuck is this supposed to mean. Who is this we? Who is now the Express One Slovenia? The Express One Slovenia is supposed to be, I think, even in Ljubljana or whatever. But who is this we? I mean, this is what I don't understand. And here on the top it says Posta. And it says, we have received the shipment. I don't understand any of it, man. Uh, Slovenian Postal Services and Slovenian Postal Services. And this is what I got as information yesterday at the Slovenian Postal Services. Let's go to recording. This was yesterday. This was yesterday, the postal office, Novo Mesto. And I'm going to action to you. This was already at 1348. And yesterday, at 1900 hours, when they closed the postal office, I popped up at the postal office again in the, here in the city of the Novo Mesto, where I retrieved one today. And they told me, well, what you see here, just like you're going to hear, let me translate you. I'm going to put the audio underneath. No, this is also not it. This is the day earlier that I went to the postal office. This is also not it. Here we are back. This is the tape that you see here, original tape 2750 from yesterday. This is the one. This is from yesterday. Yeah, you're going to hear the date and everything, absolutely. And I am going to post both audio recordings right down below so that we get to start to... Oh, there you go. Me at the postal office yesterday at 1900 hours exactly. Uh, I mentioned that, uh, I'm not sure, but I feel that something came because I just got the SMS on the phone. Now the lady I am talking to, the lady who checked for this package was actually the lady I told you about. Police would have me delivered to her even three hours before the postal office would open. And those three hours before the postal office was open, next to my being drugged up, stoned in the head with MK Ultra drugs, felt like fucking hell. I felt like I fucking see stars blood pressure and stuff like this issues in the morning without the sleep young i was about maybe 20 years old nasty stuff and would have to sit at the postal office and would ask all kinds of interrogated all kinds of stupid questions while she would be doing this stuff told how to think, what to think, what to say not, how to see the people who Slovenia just uh, supposedly have liberated itself She's from. <laughs> okay, so the lady says there is nothing. Okay. 
So this is strange. Why would you hear, why would you hear, what, why, what for, why would you hear, confiscate me? This is still the package. This is the pa this package that you have seen that I retrieved today is still listed that is at the customs. This is still listed as a customs that is at the customs, this package. This is still December the 9th, 2023, I paid for. It's still listed that is at the Slovenian customs. And the Slovenian customs, based on what I have seen earlier, cleared one already on December the 19th of 2023. <laughs> Fuck, that's like 37 days ago. 37 days ago. 37 days ago in Ljubljana already they cleared everything, the customs and everything. And this package is just waiting someplace for 37 days. After 37 days, I receive all of a sudden the SMS like, wow. You know, like, what exactly? I mean, it, it, it was written like from the postal office, Slovenian postal office, Posta, Slovenia, Posta. That's a government office. At the SMS, it says the sender is the Express One Slovenia. Obviously, a private company in Slovenia that delivered this to, to Slovenian Postal Office. So, okay. All right. So now I am at the Postal Office. Let me just finish this here. I'm just going to scroll like this so that you see this stuff here. Yeah, out for it's out for delivery since January the 3. <laughs> this is bizarre. This is crazy. From China to Slovenia in 10 days, literally at the customs, which is like very, very fast. And it's what the Chinese are working for to provide for their customers. From Ljubljana, from Slovenia, which is like 70, 80 kilometers to the Novo Mesto, however, 37 fucking days. 37 fucking days. Everything was like this. Almost everything was like this. Except for the packages they wanted to use to remind of MK Ultra scenario, the way they wanted to do this Napelevania, basically. Uh, screw you up, basically. This is not screwing up anybody. This is, I don't understand, I'm age 52. Are you even fucking aware that I'm age 52? I've deleted so that I can deal with this. So some psychiatrist, some police gonna have their story basically told the way basically did. This is sicker than sick shit. So at the postal office, this is what I get to hear talking to the director basically of the postal office. Head of the postal office. There, there is nothing. Oh, so they pulled me for the nose. I got an SMS message. When they send you first SMS, it's when they receive the package. Once it's at the postal office, they send you a second SMS. Really? I tried to tell her that I, it makes me feel like this was sent from the postal office, actually. It, this looks like it was sent from the postal office. I say that we received the packaging from the sender, from the shipper, Express One, One Express Slovenia, etc., etc. 
And I said, so when I said we received the package, it's basically the SMS I have received already from you. You can you can watch your uh, you can you can see your delivery through the some kind of portal, etc., etc. You can you can do that. You can track your delivery, blah 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 blah. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me see this here. Ha, fuck, this says here Sl Posta Slovenia. Anyways, I don't understand what this lady is talking about. Anyways, Posta ASE, e portal Posta ASE. So. Sledanje pošta. This is to me. This looks like a Slovenian postal services. What she says is yes, but uh, this is uh, this is just a sh uh, shipment. Uh, Slovenian postal office is received, accepted, but it was not uh, shipped yet forward uh, for delivery. Wow! I must be fucking stupid. You will get another SMS. Uh, when it's going to arrive to this uh, postal office here, you will get another SMS. I didn't get any fucking SMS. I didn't get any kind of SMS. The only thing I got today was basically inside of the post box I got this here this is basically what I got see this here one two seven twenty fifth this I have recorded in the postal office but now this here, this stuff here is what is of my interest. This basically what I did receive. I am going to include this stuff. You're going to see this is uh, information that it was the package that arrived at the postal office. So this is like definitely something that you would use to notify somebody that is package waiting for him at this uh, postal office exactly at Novo Mesto. The SMS, however, I did not receive. It says right there, Novi Trg 7, Novo Mesto. <coughs> Which is, yes, I agree, equivalent to the SMS. But I did not receive the SMS. These are two different things. I did receive this here. It was the time when it was delivered. It was nine, five minutes before 10 o'clock in the morning. My question already is why yesterday when I was at the postal office in Novo Mesto, this package was not given to me. This is already the first question basically here that I have. This package could have been given probably, I'm going to say, probably this package could have been given to me. This is where it all starts. The second thing, therefore nothing, they say nothing for you, okay. No, it's not that. Okay, Paul, we'll
She says you wouldn't have any information, even if I give you the from the SMS information uh, about the tracking, you you wouldn't have any kind of information about it, right? Uh, obviously, what she is saying right now is not true, because uh, she says no, I would not have the information. She still believes that this is a, a private company, which obviously is not. Uh, once I do give her a, a number like this, she says, what kind of number do you have? Well, this is exactly, this exactly is the number. That's the number here. I just gave her right now. I don't know what she's saying here. She insists, under no circumstances, can I pick it up the day. Uh, she claims this is in the Maribor, the package is in the Maribor. Let's go, and we're going to take a little excursion here through uh, Slovenia, so that I demonstrate you. I don't understand why the fuck this will be in Maribor. But uh, what she is continue to refer is that this is where these people are, uh, obviously, one express one express one slovenia whatever express one slovenia that's what uh, apparently that these people are that's where they are located at okay skladišče maribor cesta k maribor is city uh, quite far from novo mesto i mean in novo mesto if you look at the air distance is very very close but actually when you look at when you look at the uh, hills and everything it gets a long way to get there um with a car it would be like almost 200 kilometers if you want to speed that uh, and it could be less, but it would take you a good amount of time. Uh, it would definitely take you two hours to get there with the car, supposedly two hours. Now, when we have a road, good, everything, it's like about two hours for you to get there. Um, the thing is that uh, I mentioned earlier, Celje, city of Celje. Celia is this here, is right between Novo Mesto and Celia. It's what police stated me would intercept the watch at Celia. Um, I don't want to take you too far with it. What matters is right now what's taking place here. Um, she said, no, uh, you will get another SMS and that's when the merchandise is going to be ready. So yesterday this was not ready at the Novo Mesto postal office. I am not going to go into it. You already know the drill. Uh, Novo Mesto Postal Office, basically, this is the address that I have listed. That's a Posta Slovenia Posta Restante 8105. I'm going to include both audio recordings below. And this is pretty much it. This is when I stopped again today at, again, at the city of the Novo Mesto, where I'm from, 
to check for this package. Let's look at it. So I already made a big mistake here. Uh, the mistake I've made actually is quite uh, really, really considerable. This is inside of the postal office, but I made a mistake. Big fucking mistake. Uh, individual who presented himself as a police officer. Eventually even... Uh, it didn't come to me. It didn't come to me because I was in a hurry to pick up this package, inspect one myself. And that was a mistake. I already paid for Arrived at the postal office at the same time as I did in a BMW Series 3, later model, black color, uh, very similar to the car from, I told you his name is Simon Bartle, a police officer who was involved uh, and who participated also with this postal delivery packages uh, just enough for the Slovenian police, uh, basically to ensure themselves that they did pass on to me the information after 20 years of torture, brainwash with the lies. For everything that was to uh, brainwash, like they would brainwash you like 100 times with a single one issue over the course of 10, 20 years, they would always take time also, so they would record themselves next to you, how they're telling you. At the end, when it's everything finished, when it's all over, when you're ready to set you up to fuck you, they record themselves next to you, explaining you how uh, you should actually see things so that you would not fuck yourself. Not even this I got. Not even that kind of stuff I got. Because it was so mixed up with so many issues that it didn't make any fucking sense. It made no fucking sense. This is our house here. And the first mistake I have made is I did not video record the individual who appeared and have posed as uh, he used to be a police officer. And this was the individual who demanded from me uh, to remember, basically, he, he parked the car today right here, right at this spot, at the last spot. I parked here like this, like where this white car is, and he parked the car right here at the end. And this was the first mistake I have made. I did not video record this scumbag. Because this scumbag was the one out there to actually remind me of what I stated to you earlier. On how... A police will definitely, if I am going to order this kind of watch here, if I'm going to order this kind of watch, which I really did, if I'm going to order this kind of watch, uh, this is like a very, very discounted price, guys. The price that you have seen, I got because it was, I purchased one through my mother. And when you purchase through a new customer, as a new customer, AliExpress give you a discount. And so I use the mother's discount to get this watch. He was the one through whom also Slovenian police brainwashed me and demanded from me to see this package here which I demonstrated you, two cheap belts with, uh, um, you know, with uh, balaclava, substituted with this here. Because Slovenian police insisted me it's going to be this here, but what we're going to do is we're going to have you sign for the bullshit package, yeah? Once you're going to sign for the bullshit package, this kind of package is going to stay with us, and we're going to be playing with one, and we're going to be playing with one. So they, 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 they totally massacred with, with, with complete, with the stuff that is like, like totally out there basically to, to get somebody killed. But you were talking about probably more than 200 items like this. This was not the only item. 
You're talking probably about over 200 items ordered through the Slovenian postal services that would arrive from China, from abroad, that Slovenian police would do this kind of stuff with. So this is, this is not good. Uh, when they still, when the Slovenian police psychiatry still have a capacity to get their paws on me, their hands on me, when nobody knew about me, it was even worse. They would intercept the package. They would literally intercept the package. Let me demonstrate. That I demonstrate you what is a dance with the satanism so that you get to understand what the satanism is. They would, uh, they would, uh, they would intercept the package because I was drugged up and the male guy would deliver when I was drugged up in the hands of the police who barricaded himself in our house and tortured. And they would demand from me to go online on the internet, such as the case with the, Alex, uh, with the eBay order and post that uh, in fact it was the Slovenian police who have substituted my uh, belts which I ordered from China uh, with the belts like this. You see obviously there's a big difference between inequality between these belts because these are so much wider and the belts I had before were especially good because they were such a strong belts indestructible nylon belts three times as thick as this so, to get things even worse, it was my father who got involved in a torture, who stated, well, you ordered them for me, so what I am going to do is, I am going to give the belts, uh, your belts, to the police officers, investigators, and they are going to give me their belts, which are actually shitty belts, which I am going to give them to you. <laughs> to get things even worse, police had had this belts, which I ordered by mistake. I ordered them by mistake because they look like this belts here, but they are much thinner, much smaller belts. Hidden. They would have them fucking hidden for like 10 years. And then it would be the mother that would have them delivered into the living room the other day about maybe a month and a half ago, and who expected from me to recall the memory about MK Ultra, how my father was sadistically in front of me, giving the belts, my belts, for what they claim were my belts, to the police officers. And the police officers that they gave him used old belts like the one you see right here. He would never use this kind of belts to make things even fucking worse. Those belts were actually used by somebody, possibly even by me during MK Ultra, but in real world, I have never seen these belts. So they demanded for me to go online and make the statements for which they believed I would not check and see first. This becomes especially deadly weapon in which if you close the eBay account and you don't have any kind of track anymore about what you have received, the way to check. And it did happen with me. However, I remember, lucky for me, that I did order the belts and I did go back online and I did check, well, after the police told me these things, still I went online because the belts would not arrive and I would go remembering the MK Ultra bullshit and check what kind of belts that I actually ordered if I really made a mistake. Once I saw that I made a mistake 10 years ago, I did like this to Slovenian police and would not even mention anything. I pretended like everything was okay. And when I pretended that everything was okay, Slovenian police became even more empowered. They schizophrenically believed, schizophrenically believed that something is wrong with me. They knew that nothing is wrong with me. But they were such a schizos, such a schizoids, paranoids, that they saw something that did not fucking exist out there. That means that these Slovenian police officers are also mentally ill. Because they believe that as long as they're going to see something that doesn't exist, it will fucking exist, no matter what. And this is the case that went on for 52 years. I'm just mentioning this example, how, how insane, how fucking insane these people are. 
that you understand basically the nature of this crime, how violent and how insane this shit is. So that's how, those are the things that they hoped for, they're going to prove that something is wrong with me. No, I made a mistake. Yes, I did make a mistake. Nobody, nobody has stolen any kind of belts from me. My father did not give anybody any kind of belts that were good and I paid them for uh, and received in return belts from the police officers that didn't want their belts because they were bad and so on. Man, when they fucking involved the whole fucking family to lie against you. So let's continue with this stuff here. This individual was a police officer, talking about my friend. He, they did implicate him in this. Yeah, that's his name right there. Can't see him anywhere. <clears throat> he had a BMW, all this. To make things even better, <clears throat> this individual who was not he, but who tried to imitate him, had a registration license with the KP, which was copper. Under MK Ultra, they would deliver me to the copper. Talking about the Slovenian police, they would deliver me to the copper, which is again completely on the other side of Slovenia, here, here along the Adriatic coast. Yes. Let's see if I can change this here. All right. So. And this about three hours with a car. I, I can't. I actually, I cannot. That's, I don't know. And if I get a chance to do this, we're going to do it. Hundred and seventy kilometers. It's actually autobahn, and you can make it in one hour and forty-five minutes from Nova Mest all the way to Adriatic coast with a car. <clears throat> Hundred and seventy kilometers. So, with this individual that would park this BMW three series right here, I was to to be reminded to make the statements. Yes, they did go, and it was the watch, and it was the watch, and they did, and so on, and so forth. <coughs> You're going to hear me stating something similar, basically taking into account the possibility of it. But you're never going to hear me stating that that actually happened. Especially once I came home, I figured out that the person, the shipper, there was again some kind of Indian guy, I think with his belts, whatever they used, that, that uh, AliExpress used, that suggested me that he actually does require the signature upon uh, their customers receiving mail, even for the lowest cost products. And when I had to even explain, if you're going to order two belts, that it seems like that it would be, uh, if I two items like two belts, it will go probably through the certain shippers that AliExpress has a policy that if you if you order certain items that's got to do with some kind of shipper from AliExpress, obviously that maybe is department for the belts or whatever it is, uh, that uh, different shippers or whatever that they require diff through the different shipping methods, different uh, possibilities, such as even the signature upon receipt, regardless of the value. So it looks like maybe, I have no idea, this is strange, because I did receive belts before and stuff, I didn't sign for it. So I have no fucking idea, I don't know anything about this stuff, how things are. <clears throat> the only thing I know is that today, when I arrived at the postal office, let's finish with this conversation. So yes, that these people are in Maribor and so on. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
I was happy to say to her goodbye, thank you very much, and I left the postal office without even identifying her, thinking about all this stuff that I went. She must have felt really, really good about herself, uh, but that must have been a short trip because today I returned back to the postal office and this is what it looked like. I think it was not a, such a happy day because the first thing I wanted to do is identify her so that we don't make some kind of understand mistake and we don't understand each other. That's why I came in the evening hours just before they closed the postal off, like this. Clint would even have to pollute himself whenever I would be receiving the watch, basically. Let's go. Hey, I am just going to go like this. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to go like that. And I'm going to blast this. Like effect wise, I'm just going to go another 200 like that. No, let's talk. Me at the postal office again. Boom. There you go. SMS, I got at the postal office for the pickup. Yesterday and today I got the, what I already demonstrated, I got the, a little letter to come to the postal office and to pick it up. I told her, I think that the lady I have spoken with yesterday in the very evening hours at 1900, she was, these ladies were there present, was actually your boss, your main boss. Was she the boss or not? And yes, she says she was. There you go. Boom. Bingo. By the way, I identified the uh, leader of the postal office, Novo Mesto, by the main boss today, who was involved in MK Ultra. okay? That's one of the things. Let's go. And I also tell them, the lady, she was the lady who opened two, three hours before the postal office used to open. That was the lady who I have met yesterday. They didn't want to say anything about that. But I'm saying. I, re I recall it or her. I remember. Yes, thank you. So they go and they look for my postal package. So they tell me one package it is? I said, is it on my name of my mother or on my name? She says, on your name. I say, it's kind of weird. Excuse me, but okay. Fine, thank you. So I sign it. That's the only package. 
uh, I ask, is there like for my mother's on my mother's name? Because this is what I used. Or is it for me or anything like this? She said, no, 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 there's no other packages, there's nothing. Usually the case is that they search up front, they search in the back, they search all of the fucking place. Usually this was the case. Till about maybe like a few months ago, that was the case. Um, now, and always, 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 still like, like six months ago or something like that, I don't know, the package was always located up front where the postal service is. Never was located in the back. They always had the packages, my packages that would arrive from China, they always have them up front at the postal offices, never in the back. Keep in mind that they never had my packages in the back, but always up front, which also they have used to suggest me that this is where you're going to be signing up invitation for the court for the psychiatric hospital. How the hell was that done inside of the postal office was because they're not supposed to have my packages over there, obviously, but they were doing them so I would get used to it. For like two years, they were doing this stuff. And once I got used to it, they used the whatever I got used to it to harass with the issue which was heavily involved in MK Ultra about how I'm going to have to sign for invitation to the court where I would meet with the psychiatric stuff from psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polia with the police and so on against me. That's the kind of postal office we are talking about. Inside of this postal office, in front of these postal workers, there was a heavy torture that went on. It was not only in the mornings and so on, it was also during the hours that were not busy, mornings or afternoons, if they had people, they, this became so rampant that the whole city was involved in it. Police did not fear even a little bit about what went on, which is actually, as I stated, question of nationality, whether this Slovenian state should even exist. They tell me today we are the 25th, okay, I pick up the stuff and I go out. Here we're gonna go. So this was today and what you have seen earlier was yesterday. And I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play you this recording here. This is the second mistake they believed I would make through exactly what I'm doing here. Are we gonna do it like this? This is inside a video recorded the Novo Mesto inside of the postal office where I'm not supposed to record. But where I was delivered by the so-called investigators, Slovenian police investigators, who guaranteed me next to individual that I stated that he parked the car right there, there was a Slovenian police who would repeatedly deliver me inside of the postal office. As an investigators, they presented themselves to me who will investigate this and have demanded from me to video record this item, however, already inside of the postal office, so that I would definitely have the proof that this item here was actually the item where the watch should be inside. And not what you see right here is most likely two belts and balaclava. Do you understand how fucked up, how heavy this stuff is? If you get somebody drugged up and you actually exercise this kind of power did you tell him that he has to police officers would argue with the postal office workers in front of me who would claim that i don't i shouldn't video record inside and police officers would argue with them those they're supposed to be my friends that i in fact should video record this so that they would have the proof once they would start to investigate this crime on how in fact this stuff was done to me inside of the postal office. So these people absolutely wanted me to eat the bait of claiming basically how inside and here should be the watch and not two belts and uh, basically the stuff I'm talking about, obviously that there is nobody in this world that possibly could resist this kind of stuff.
you understand that there is nobody in this world that possibly could say it's, it's a lunacy. We'd have to destroy 30 cables to you so that they make you see things that don't fucking exist and do stuff like this to, to make you see things that don't, to say things that don't exist so that they make you basically through the physical violence, through the use of physical violence, say things that are not real to discredit you in front of the world and, well, in this case, negotiate. It's for wrong they can never prove me anymore. <laughs>